Just going to wait a minute. Hold, hold on just a second, please. Okay, so just really quick, um, just I, I just want to get it on record that I do condemn all the voter fraud. Um, whether or not we proceed here in El Paso, Texas, let's, let's not kid ourselves. This voter fraud here in our city has been going on for a very long time, and they've been able to get away with it. It's going to take us all... Um, uniting in an effort to bring the the transparency of an election and make sure that the people that are voting should be voting and are legally able to vote. Um, we must continue to push back on the agenda. Look, voter fraud condemns, I mean, um, affects both Republicans, Libertarians, Independents, and Democrats and Republicans. So I'm pretty sure I, I repeated one of those. I can't remember which one I started with. But even our Democrat friends, especially those that have run against Veronica Escobar in the past, we should all unite in an effort to bring the, the purity of our election system back. We need to make sure that people that are voting are legally um, here, they, are, they can vote and Yes, I announced my candidacy for 2022, but understand that I've been on the phone um, endlessly and tirelessly for the last two days, making sure that whatever our next steps are is not just 2022, but the now. And let's make sure that the integrity of our democracy and our voting is upheld yes i'm in front of my house you see a car you see you hear a car going by um i'm not hiding in my basement and our um health professionals still need the equipment they need to protect themselves and their families look let's not kid ourselves this has never been about the american people a year ago, June, uh, May, June, July, a year ago, 2019, our men and women in the Border Patrol were suffering the same kind of stress and exposure to other diseases, and we haven't forgotten. I used to tell my husband, hey, um, has the Border Patrol considered to put showers for you guys to be able to shower and change clothes before you come home now i'm not saying all immigrants have diseases and things like that but the reality is is that our health system is very different and it was completely ignored so this has not been about protecting the american citizens and so i need a message to especially those democrats that have ran against veronica escobar you need to unite with us because this affects you as well. The transparency and the integrity of our voting system is completely compromised right now. Um, let's read our Constitution. Let's understand our Constitution and move forward for the sake of the generations that are coming after us. El Paso, I need your help. Yes, we are going to have our first meeting for the campaign tonight. And if you're really angry and you want to make sure that our, that our system is, is um, preserved, then you may join us. But if you join the campaign, don't think that you're just going to be sitting down. Okay, election day is too late to make noise. But we should raise our voices in condemning the voter fraud and let your family and friends know that this affects everybody, Democrats and Republicans and Independents and Libertarians and the Green Party, etc., etc. So I will stand in the gap and be your champion here in El Paso, but you need to be right alongside of us. We can't do it all on our, on our own. We have allowed this to happen, okay? We, yes, we cry every election year and we say how dare they but do we really do anything no so we need to continue to fight for the integrity not only of el paso and texas but our nation remember our children are watching 
and it's okay to be nervous about the presidential um the uh, our president right now and and the race and the election but we have things happening here in el paso you need to unite with uh not not because i'm a republican okay i want to make that clear but because this is just wrong and if my opponent in the last election called what is wrong right and right what is wrong then you know what side she stands on and i may not have the millions that she has even now but we will continue to work and push back el paso unite with us let's make sure that our system is honored and respected let's send a message not only here in el paso and in texas and in our nation but in the world Let's be a beacon of light, and it's going to take everybody uniting. So God bless you, El Paso. I will continue to fight, and we are not going anywhere. We made a great impact this last election, and we will continue. Just look at the last candidates. Did you hear from them afterwards? No, you didn't. So let's continue to fight and unite for our families, for the future of our children and our grandchildren. Beautiful day in El Paso, beautiful. And even though I don't like to eat in restaurants, I'm gonna go buy me some burgers at Corralitos again uh, and make sure that, that we support our local uh, businesses. So El Paso, I love you. We continue to fight and round two for 2022. God bless you. Irene Jackson, Irene Armendariz Jackson for, from El Paso, for El Paso.